Yo, what's going on guys today and I want to talk about Jalen Johnson who's the seventh overall ranked prospect in the NBA draft 2021 ESPN top 100 and he was a freshman for the Duke Blue Devils. He's 6'9", 220 pounds coming from Milwaukee, Wisconsin and he's born December 18th, 2001 meaning that he'll be about 20 years old for his freshman year, rookie year, you know what I'm saying? But either way, let's talk about this young cat. He's very athletic. He's an energetic guy who's very versatile. He is a solid all-around skill set that could enable him to be a player who could play multiple positions and guard multiple positions. He's probably going to be a lottery pick this year. And he thrives in scoring and in transition as well as he can post up against smaller players really well on offense. Obviously, posting up is not going to be a factor as much in the NBA. And something that he's going to need to work on is improving his jump shot. And he's kind of turnover prone. But I think he could really be a solid role player. Like a solid starter, but not like lead scorer for an NBA team. I could be wrong. He averaged 11.2 points per game, 6.1 rebounds, 2.2 assists while shooting 52% from the field and 44% from three in 13 games this past season. For the Blue Devils, he shot about one and a half threes per game and shot eight and a half field goals per game. And he had 1.2 blocks per game and 1.2 steals per game. Showing that he is actually a really good defender. And that's what he's going to go into the NBA knowing as a really good defender who could develop into kind of a 3 and D guy. He's a good low post scorer, scorer for his size. He can score off the dribble. He does really well in catch and shoot scenarios and playing off the dribble. He's never going to be a guy who will create for himself. He's not the best creator, like shot creator. He's never going to be a lead scorer. But he can be a solid starter, like fourth or fifth scorer for a team. And he's a great rebounder for his size. As you guys saw, six rebounds a game. He's a decent passer. He's going to be a guy who will get you three or four assists a game, probably at most for his career. Grab you six or seven boards at most. And he's a plus defender. He's going to be going into the NBA day one being a guy who can guard the second, third, at least best score on the other team. He can even guard some of the best scores on other team, I believe. And he's a good shot blocker for his size. 1.2 steals, 1.2 blocks per game. And he's a good athlete. Not an elite one, but a good athlete. And his only problem, he has great at IQ. His only problem is he needs to work on his free throw shooting. As you guys saw, he had good shooting stats, but on low attempts. His free throw shot stat was 63% on 38 attempts in the entire year. So to show that he can be a little streaky, he can be unfocused at times, a bit turnover prone as he did have 2.5 turnovers per game. So there's that. I think he's definitely going to be a lottery player because how good he is at defense and how he looks like he'd be a 3 and D guy. Basically, kind of like how Miles Bridges and Mikhail Bridges, but not as athletic or as frangy, but like just in a role that they're like the third or fourth score, maybe fifth score for a team. Good role player. You know, end of the lottery.